Um, this is Ron Langer. Um, we're at uh, Grassroots TV in Aspen, Colorado. Um, I'm interviewing um, Gino Hollander, that's Eugene F. Hollander, uh, who lives currently in Aspen, um, was born in Newark, New Jersey on August 4th, 1924. Um, he was, um, he served with the 10th Mountain Division, um, 86th Regiment, achieving the rank of Staff Sergeant, uh, served from January 10th, 1943 through September 1945. Um, so, Gino, I'd like to, um, to um, uh, start out just talking a little bit about um, um, growing up. Uh, I, I have particular interest because I'm also a New Jersey boy. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, know you were born in... Um, um, in, in Newark, um, what were things like uh, growing up in um, uh, in Newark in the 20s and 30s? Well, the 20 part, I don't remember very well. I was born in 1924, so yeah. not much recall of that. Uh, my, uh, we went to, uh, well, they weren't even suburbs, and it wasn't the name that was given. Mm -hmm. None of the highways were started. Right. But you, you migrated somehow or other, and we went to Maplewood and the South Orange area uh -huh. uh, in 1930. And that's where I pick up my memory, more or less. Yeah. Uh, I had been in Europe for almost a year before that, which is uh, 1929, with my family. And I have memories of that, just vague ones of the museums and of this and that and so mm -hmm. on. Uh, what, why, why did they travel to Europe? My father uh, was an executive in a fur business, fur dyeing and dressing, which in Newark was a very big one, A. Hollander and Son. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so, um, so this was a, a business trip? That he made... He had been traveling since the 1920s yearly by boat uh, for the firm. There were some plants in Europe, and he went over, and every once in a while the family went with him. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and this was 1929? 1929, 1930. Uh-huh, so um, it was, uh, that was the year of the stock market crash. Yeah, but somehow or other the firm did fairly well with, with the rabbits dyed beaver or whatever it was, uh -huh. or, or rabbits dyed mink, and they did pretty well. Uh-huh. Uh, and they got through that period. It's disappeared since and yeah. changed, but it had been around about 50 years at the time. Uh -huh. That was my background. I expected to go into it when, uh, as work. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, and so you you went to um, to school and graduated high school in Maplewood, in South Orange, New Jersey. South Orange, South Orange uh, and from there, awful student, just awful. I I I don't know how many days I attended, but as I recall, it was at least a day a week I wasn't there. I just just sort of wasn't with it somehow or other and uh, nobody pinned me down on it and one thing and the other. I was a media guy. I came in with C's or something, mm -hmm. but not attentive and uh, it's not the way that I've ever learned uh, in that fashion. I learned by doing. Mm -hmm. And from there I, uh, I graduated and I suppose I went to Hobart because I had a C average instead of you know one of the other schools. Right. Yoda. But it was nice, and, uh, and Hobart's Hope, Hope in uh, um, Upper New York State. Yes, it's a small uh, liberal arts college, and was very nice. I had no problem with it, and did very well. Mm -hmm. Immediately took to it. Well, it was a different atmosphere, and but um, I guess it was from the film and also the Times. Uh, you would have had to been there to know, but we were losing a war in a big way, and the entire nation was involved. Entire nation was involved. 
And so it was in the spirit of things as well. Uh -huh, that, that you decided that to enlist. That I volunteered. Mm -hmm. By seeing, I, I had seen a training film uh, at school of the 10th Mountain Division. If I drop back to my youth just for a moment, the only thing I really remember strongly of really being turned on by is at 13 years old, I went off on a bike trip from New Jersey. Uh, this was from Maplewood. And I went for a thousand miles into Canada. This was alone. Mm -hmm. Cooked up some story or other with my family. We were going with somebody. It didn't work out that way, and I went alone. And I, I just remember.